When you add international fame to the equation, marriage can get pretty complicated. Every celeb couple has its own quirks, but some stars' unions go well beyond normal levels of odd. Here are some of our favorite celebrity marriages that just keep getting weirder and weirder. Miranda Lambert shocked the world when she announced she'd married New York City police officer Brandon McLaughlin in February 2019. The couple secretly tied the knot the month before, after first meeting in November 2018. However, there are a lot more strange elements to this coupling, aside from the speed with which they wed. According to Radar Online, McLaughlin reportedly welcomed a son with another woman just days after meeting Lambert. His baby mama was someone with whom he allegedly cheated on his ex-fiancé. Yikes. That's not to mention the Something Bad singer's interesting take on becoming a stepmom, seeming to describe the situation as being similar to taking care of a puppy. She gushed to Extra in June 2019, My stepson is amazing. I'm loving that whole phase, and I've raised a million dogs. That part of my womanly, motherly thing is full, so this is a whole new journey. It's great. Of dividing their time between Manhattan and Nashville, Lambert added, we have the best of both worlds. We spend time in New York, we get to see our adorable nugget, then we get to come back to the farm and have the quiet life. I'm enjoying the balance." After following up years of on and off dating with a whirlwind romance, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin tied the knot in the fall of 2018. However, the road to the altar wasn't easy. The Biebs previously and prophetically called their unlikely marriage while discussing past mistakes in an interview with GQ in 2016, saying, what if Haley ends up being the girl I'm gonna marry, right? If I rush into anything, if I damage her, then it's always gonna be damaged. It's really hard to fix wounds like that. In between that interview and his marriage with Baldwin, Bieber briefly dated ex-Selena Gomez and was celibate for a year to combat a sex addiction, as well as other vices. The pop star explained to Vogue in February 2019, I found myself doing things that I was so ashamed of, being super promiscuous and stuff, and I think I used Xanax because I was so ashamed." In the same interview, he and Baldwin revealed they were in therapy, with the model saying marriage is, quote, "...really effing hard." We don't doubt it, and applaud these two for being open about the work they put into their relationship. But the fact that Baldwin was actually a Jelena stan back in the day, it truly makes things at least a little bizarre. What makes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's marriage weird is that it actually seems pretty normal, which is totally abnormal for a royal couple. After meeting through a friend in the spring of 2016, the pair announced their engagement a year and a half later, finally marrying in May 2018. Leading up to the birth of their son, Archie, the couple came under scrutiny for handling the baby's delivery out of the spotlight. Markle reportedly elected to use her own medical team instead of Queen Elizabeth's chosen OB GYNs and opted to not do a Kate Middleton-style photo op hours after going into labor. These moves led to some royal experts to gripe that she and Prince Harry were, as Page Six put it, conducting the birth in virtual secrecy. You know, the same way most families would. The only real strange elements about their marriage have been others' reactions to Markle joining the royal family. While her paternal clan has a long-documented beef with the royals, Prince William reportedly raised an eye brow over the couple's whirlwind romance, and Prince Philip allegedly gave the prince a memorable line of advice, saying, "...one steps out with actresses, one doesn't marry them." But despite the royal family doubters, the relationship seems to be working out for the Sussexes, so let's everyone get off their cases already. In addition to being forced to deny divorce rumors, David and Victoria Beckham have long been said to be living separate lives. According to a source cited by Us Weekly in 2018, the married pair were reportedly rarely in the same city. With Victoria spending time in London, David allegedly opted to hang out in Los Angeles by himself, pursuing his own interests during his retirement from soccer. Some reports have also claimed that their finances are handled separately, too. Victoria told Grazia in 2015, I am blessed to have a wonderful husband and beautiful, healthy, happy children. But she also added somewhat defensively, Yes, we travel a lot with our respective businesses and charitable commitments, but we always make time for each other as a couple and as a family. David and I have nothing to prove. We love each other, look out for each other, and are strong as both partners and parents. 
Derek Jeter and model wife Hannah Jeter are happily married with two kids, but getting there was reportedly a pretty tricky process. In 2014, Page Six reported that the baseball pro dumped Davis due to her then-growing fame, a source claimed to the publication. In the past, when his girlfriends become famous and start doing sexy shoots, that's when they break up. Exactly the same thing happened with exes Minka Kelly and Vanessa Manillo. When the pair tied the knot two years later, Therese Owens alleged that the Davis family disliked their new son-in-law and, quote, tried talking Hannah out of it. Since then, the Sports Illustrated cover girl has become pretty reclusive. Hannah Jeter hasn't posted on Instagram since February 2017, and it's unclear whether she's continued to model. In an essay for the Players Tribune, Hannah admitted that she stopped working to a degree to be with Derek during his final days as a New York Yankee, writing, my managers, at times, were not too happy with me. I canceled jobs left and right just to be present at those remaining games, and I still didn't feel totally in my element." She added, "...even during those last few months, I felt like I was still learning to identify the Derek Jeter everyone was saying goodbye to, as the same Derek that I knew." While Kelly Preston and John Travolta have been married for nearly 30 years, their union has been plagued by bizarre rumors for almost as long. On the surface, they're a couple with cute quirks. Preston is BFFs with Kirstie Alley, who once confessed to having a crush on her Look Who's Talking co-star. And even though Travolta has a five-plane fleet and runway in their backyard, they still enjoy dining out at Olive Garden during date nights. So they're basically adorable, but what else is going on? Rumors surrounding Travolta's sexuality have been swirling for over a decade, including at least one report of a six-year affair with a male pilot in 2012. The actor has also been accused of misconduct by several men. The late Carrie Fisher even once quipped to The Advocate, "...I mean, my feeling about John has always been that we know he's gay and we don't care." For their part, Travolta and Preston have denied all accusations regarding Travolta's affairs, orientation, or alleged improprieties. Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne are nothing if not honest with the public about their marriage. After several years of dating, the couple got hitched in 1982 and welcomed three kids together. However, Ozzy reportedly attempted to strangle Sharon in 1989, after which he went to rehab for three months. While things were relatively quiet for the pair until the 2002 premiere of The Osbournes, the rock star revealed in 2013 that he'd relapsed with his addictions to drugs and alcohol but denied that he and Sharon were divorcing. That nearly changed, however, when Ozzy reportedly hooked up with his then-hairstylist in 2016, leading Sharon to allegedly kick him out of their home. They reconciled after a short-lived split, though Sharon did claim that he'd cheated on her with six different women throughout their marriage. After renewing their vows in 2017, Sharon joked on the talk that bedroom activity was a, quote, bone of contention in their marriage because he wanted it all the time and she didn't. Oh, no wonder he fiddles other people! <laughs> Wife swapping isn't just for reality TV, but it can be pretty harsh when it happens in real life. Singer Shania Twain and her husband of 15 years, producer Robert Mutt Lang, separated in 2008 amid rumors that he'd had an affair with Twain's best friend, Marie Ann Tebow. Twain later told the New York Post, when that happened, I thought, forget it. This is more than I can handle. I'm never going to sing again. I had to grieve through it." Twain and Lang finalized their divorce in 2010, but the story took an interesting turn. When the That Don't Impress Me Much singer became enamored with Marie Ann's ex-husband, Frederick Tebow. Twain and Tebow were engaged within six months of the ink drying on her divorce forms with Lang, and the two married in January 2011, just weeks after announcing their engagement. While the accidental spouse swap may make for an amusing story, the situation is still far from a joke for Twain. While she revealed that she and her ex-husband have remained cordial for the sake of their son, that courtesy has not extended to Marie Ann. According to the singer, I don't see her ever. I don't invite that trigger into my life. She's not my future. She's my past. 
Beyonce and Jay-Z have shared a lot of ups and downs over the years. The power couple quietly married in 2008, and B revealed she was pregnant with their first child at the 2011 VMAs. Despite conspiracies of a fake baby bump, the Carters welcomed daughter Blue Ivy in January 2012. Their lives seemed quiet and blissful, and then Elevator Gate happened in May 2014, shattering the couple's facade of a seemingly perfect marriage. At the time, Beyoncé's sister Solange appeared to physically attack Jay-Z in an elevator at a Met Gala after-party while her older sis looked on. No one involved in the elevator fight has revealed what really went down, but Beyoncé and Jay have since gotten very personal in their lyrics. Beyoncé accused her husband of cheating on her album Lemonade, which he confirmed himself in his album 444. They reconciled, welcomed twins Rumi and Sir in June 2017, and dropped the collaborative album Everything is Love in the following year. Despite their happy front, cynics have continued to believe this pairing is more about branding than real romance. Concerning the Carters' relationship, a source once claimed to Page Six, there's still something there even though it's not going to last. Business is always part of the equation. They know they're the king and queen of hip-hop, and really, all of music. Neither wants to lose that. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.